Hello and welcome to the Applied Hydrogeology course for scientists and engineers. My name is Jason Esselburn, and I've spent the past 10 years working as a hydrogeologist for top-tier environmental and geotechnical consultants. I also currently work for the largest water well drilling company in the Western Hemisphere. This course should provide the student with a strong foundational skill set in hydrogeology that can be put to work immediately, whether they are entering the workforce or are currently in the profession. The course layout is as follows. The first module will focus on the conceptual water cycle, types of aquifers, and the hydraulic properties of subsurface materials, namely porosity and permeability. The student will achieve a new understanding of groundwater's importance for human consumption, industrial processes, agriculture, and mining. Module two will introduce Darcy's Law and classic well hydraulics for water supply. This course module will also explore single and multi-well analytical pump test solutions for assessing aquifer transmissivity and storativity. Finally, groundwater-related engineering concepts including dewatering, ground subsidence, and one-dimensional consolidation will be explained. Module three will require the student to learn about groundwater contaminants and case studies. We will examine the more ubiquitous constituents of concern first, like petroleum-based and chlorinated chemicals, then move into more recently discovered emerging contaminants, such as perfluorinated and polyfluorinated compounds, or PFOSs. Quantitative processes that govern the behavior of those contaminants will be learned, and this will set the table for one and two dimensional transport modeling. Module four dives into site characterization and assessment, just as an environmental professional would approach the problem of a property with contamination liabilities. Starting from a conceptual site model, the student will learn to design a drilling program and investigation strategy for any regulatory framework. Conventional and advanced methods of site characterization will be introduced. The fifth and final module will present basic modeling and visualization methods. Students will become familiar with computationally efficient analytical solutions, numerical modeling platforms like ModFlow, and geostatistical methods of interpolation that make computer-aided plume and groundwater elevation mapping possible. These quantitative skills will prove valuable differentiators for you in your career as a hydrogeologist. Throughout the six-week course, two to three live webinars will be hosted. Renowned guest lecturers will be brought in to present the latest research in hot topics like emerging contaminants or high-resolution site characterization. Question and answer sessions with the experts will follow. The skills learned in this course will help the student find a career in consulting as a regulator, government employee, or environmental manager within the industrial space. If the student is already employed as a practicing scientist or engineer, these course modules will supplement your existing proficiencies and take your career to the next level. I hope to see you soon.